Hello, welcome back to HGTV Handmade. I'm Dennis. I'm Andrew. And we are the Crafty Lumberjacks. And this is our horrible sconce. It's not that horrible. But we've been living here for eight years, and since we're renters, we can't change out the fixtures, but we're kind of sick of looking at them, so we wanted to create a sconce shade. Yes, now this might look like a high-end sconce shade, but really it's made out of an embroidery hoop and a popsicle stick. We'll show you how we make them. So to create our sconce, we're gonna use the inner hoop of an embroidery thread. We're gonna use some industrial pliers just to give it a snip. Like butter. And then we're gonna eyeball it and just try to cut directly across. I like to do the old one eye wink and kind of see, try to line it up the best I can and give it a snip. Mazel tov. Hey! And then we're just gonna measure our rings just to make sure they are the same size. If not, we can adjust as needed. Yes, and this is an eight inch embroidery hoop. Oh yes. But it will really depend on the size of your sconce. About 12, let's check this guy. Wow. Perfect. Wow, he's good. Practically perfect in every way. All right, calm down. <laughs> well, now we're gonna sand down the edges just to get rid of those splintery rough parts. That's how I like to sand. <laughs> now that we have our embroidery uh, hoop cut, we have to start building our shade. We're gonna be using poster board for that, and we already know the length of our embroidery hoop, so we're gonna cut a piece of our poster board the same size as the embroidery hoop. And we had pre-measured the length. We wanted about 11 inches just to cover our whole sconce. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna cut that. Ooh, very nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now we're going to uh, use napkins that we already had in, at our apartment here that we've been waiting to use for a special project. And here it is. <laughs> yes. But of course you can use any type of fabric or... Um, Contact paper or paper. All right, so now we're going to add our napkin to our poster board with the um, shiny side down. So we're doing it on the matte side. Uh, we're using a bit of spray adhesive. We're just gonna spray our piece. And now we're going to put our napkin right on top. All right, and then you wanna make sure you have clean hands and you can start pressing and smoothing out any smoothing wrinkles out or wrinkles. bubbles. And I'm just using the poster board as a guide here and then just trimming off any extra fabric. And we like to use the rotary cutter just because we have one and it's gonna give us a nice clean edge without too many frayaways. Yeah, and if you don't have one, don't run off to the craft store. Just use a nice sharp pair of scissors. You wanna trim? <laughs> okay. God. Hey, look at me. I'm Dennis. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> now we're gonna start attaching our embroidery hoops to our poster board. We're just gonna use some hot glue and do a nice thin line and then Glue it, down. Glue it down, and we're using binder clips as a little helper, and we're doing it right to the edge. Of glory, and I'm holding on a moment of truth. Lady Gaga does not approve. Now that the hot glue is dried, we're gonna add some wooden dowels to the edge, just for a little decorative accent, but also to hold the shape, just so it doesn't uh, buckle. Yes, and for that we're using the super glue. Ooh. All right, we're almost done. All right, our sconce shade is dry. Now we're going to attach it with a clip-on adapter. Yes, this goes right onto the light bulb. Yes, and we're gonna make a crossbar with a craft stick. Yeah, and you can use anything, but of course, yeah. simple is always better. I know, and use what you have. We had some of these, so why not? So the way I'm gonna do that is by kind of just eyeballing where I want it to go, and then mimic the shape of the embroidery hoop. The embroidery hoop, and now I'm just gonna cut it with some industrial scissors. And you won't see this, so you don't have to worry about it looking right. First, we have to drill a hole for our adapter. So, I guess we want to find the center. Ooh. And now we're going to hot glue it right in the middle of the embroidery hoop. All right, we're gonna let that dry and we're basically done. 
All right, now all we have to do is put them on the light. We are gonna be using LED light bulbs for this since we did make them out of paper and wood. Yes, but all of these uh, look super bougie, super expensive, but they all cost about $10 or under to make. I can't believe it. Yes, if you'd like to see us make something else that could be expensive for less, let us know in a comment below. We'll see you soon. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.